Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I am here today to do a review and unboxing on the Mantry box. Mantry actually contacted me about two weeks ago asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review of their box on my channel. And to be very honest with you, I was a little skeptical at first in saying yes. Not because of the contents of the box. I looked up some previous boxes that they sent out and the concept behind this whole subscription service is pretty awesome and right up my alley. I was skeptical because of the price. It is $75 a box, which is a very pricey subscription service, but I decided to go ahead and do the unboxing on my channel and then have you just make your decision at the end if this is something you would like to see in your home or something that's just too pricey for what you're going to get. Now, the concept behind Mantry is that it is a food subscription service where they're going to send you artisan foods from around America, but it is geared towards men. So it's a man's pantry box, a mantry box. In my personal opinion, I think that they should just change it to a pantry box because like I said, I looked up some previous boxes that they sent out and I don't know too many women who wouldn't like the contents that are in this box. But again, that's just my personal opinion. If you have any other questions about Mantry, just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. And we're gonna move right into this unboxing. <laughs> okay, so just like any other subscription service, you're going to get your pamphlets and this is just the curator's letter. And this is the Mantry Company, the Modern Man's Pantry. It has a taco truck on it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that tacos and donuts are my two favorite foods in the entire world. So I am instantly pumped for this box now. So this is tacos, beers, and salsa verde. And this is what the pamphlet looks like. And when you open it up, it looks like they're giving you all different recipes that you can make, I'm assuming using the things that they put in the box. And all of the items in the box came from California, California, Texas, Vermont, um, Georgia, and another one from Texas. So the first item that I'm pulling out is Dino's Jalapenos, and these are jalapeno chips, and they are seasoned with sea salt. These are from Vermont. I'm going to do a very quick little taste test. Oh, so these are actually jalapenos that have been sliced up. I thought they were jalapeno flavored chips. These are actually jalapenos that have been sliced up and made into chips. They smell <laughs> super, super spicy, but here goes nothing. They're so hot. Oh my god. I love jalapenos. Oh my god. These are awesome. So spicy. Oh my lord. But wow. These are really, really good. Going in for another one. Oh, this is a tiny end one. Mm. I can eat this whole bag right now. Oh my god. So good. So good. My mouth is currently on fire, but so totally worth it. The next thing I'm pulling out is Old Dog Ranch Mexican Hot Chocolate Walnuts. And it seems that they are hot because they have organic cinnamon and organic cayenne on them. They smell really good. They smell sweeter than what I expected for being a hot walnut, but they really remind me of the kind of candy nuts that you would get at a carnival or at a feast. Here goes nothing. Hmm. They taste just like the candy nuts. So good. I'm not really getting any spice though, unless my taste buds have been shard away from those jalapeno chips. I'm getting a little bit of a kick as an aftertaste, but I'm not getting an overwhelmingly hot walnut taste, but definitely a chocolate taste, and those are awesome. Very well done. The next thing that I'm pulling out of the box is pickled red onions in the flavor sweet and sour, and they are saying onions ain't just for burgers anymore. Serve alongside cured meats and cheeses, garnish a brisket, layer into shard asparagus tacos, toss with grilled octopus, drink a Bloody Mary taco with pickled onions, and this is handmade with love from Southern California. I will not be taste testing these, but I will try these out soon and I will let you know in the description after I try them out if I like these or not. 
Following the pickled onions is a mole poblano sauce. This is 100% natural and vegan. A harmonious blend of chilies and spices tempted by the infusions of nuts, chocolates, and other natural ingredients. And you should serve with poultry, pork, fish, grilled vegetables, or as an enchilada sauce. Same thing with the pickled onions. I'm not going to taste test this on camera, but when I do try it out, I'll let you know in the description how I felt about it. There are two things left in the box, and the next thing that I'm pulling out is Savage Jerky Company, handcrafted in a small batch. This is the Mojo Garlic, Lime, and Cilantro flavored beef jerky, and the heat level is pretty low. The last thing that we're getting in the box makes me extremely excited. I am a huge spicy food enthusiast and we are getting yellow bird sauce, 100% natural habanero, and this is made in Austin, non-GMO, low sodium, vegan, and gluten free. And that's it. That's everything I received in the Mantry box and I must say I am not at all disappointed with any of the items that I got in this box. I totally got the whole taco truck theme that they were trying to put out there. I guess I would only say I'm disappointed with the price. I wish it wasn't as expensive. But I will say if you're interested in this box, go on Google and look for some Mantry coupons. More often than not, you're going to find some coupons online, sometimes $10 off, sometimes $20 off, etc. So if you really are interested in this box, try to find the coupon first because it will definitely break down the price a little bit. But that's what I thought. I would love to know what you guys think below. Did you like this box? Did you not like this box? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. And as always, I love you guys so much and I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys!